today's short video, I'm going to show to you how to create a fill overgroup between two Azure SQL managed instances. On my screen, you can see that I already have one SQL managed instance called SQL My One, deployed in Brazil's South region. But to build the fill overgroup, I need to have one more. So now, I will deploy a new managed instance but in a different region. Because the idea of having a fail overgroup is to allow you to move your users and database to another region in case the primary managed instance becomes unavailable for any reason. I will call this instance as SQLMI Sample 2. As I mentioned before, I will deploy it in a different Azure region. Another important requirement to comment here is that to build a fail overgroup, both instances must have the same compute size. In the networking step, I'm going to select a virtual network and subnet that were created earlier that are different for the ones being used by the primary instance. This way, we avoid an IP address range overlap between them. In the additional settings step, we need to ensure that these new instances have the same collation and we use the same time zone of our primary instance. Also, we need to flag this new instance as a failover instance and point to what is our primary one. This is another requirement that will allow us to build our failover group later. Another requirement to build a failover group is establish a connection between the, the two Azure SQL managed instances. And we have three ways to achieve this, using global virtual network peering, using Azure Express Hout, or using VPN gateways. On this video, I will use the first one, global virtual network peering. It is important to say that this is the recommended method because it has a better performance. To configure the peering, I will access my primary virtual network through the Azure portal and click on Peerings. Then click Add. I will name this as Sample Peering. I will leave the defaults for the other options. For the remote virtual network, I will use the same name for the peering. I have to select my secondary virtual network here. I will leave the defaults for the other options and I will click on Add. We can see here that the peering was done and the connection was established successfully between the two Azure SQL managed instances. Now I'm ready to configure the failover group between the instances. To do that, using the Azure portal, I will access the primary instance and click on failover groups. Then I will click on Add group. I will name it this failover group as Sample Failover Group. I will choose the secondary instance. For the op other options, I will leave the defaults and click on Create. OK, the failover group was created, and now I will do a failover to test it. I will click on the failover button. And then, yes. The failover worked. We can see that my secondary instance become the primary one. Now I will test the fail back. To do that, I will access the new primary. I'll click on failover groups, then I'll click on failover, and yes. Okay, the failback was done, and we can check the new primary.